The chin tuck exercise or chin draw back exercise is often considered as the one and only one exercise that you need to resolve forward head posture. And it's an important thing because forward head posture is, as you know from my channel, the mother of all neck pains and headaches. What I'm going to show you in this video is the difference between the chin tuck exercise and the chin tuck skill. And what I'll show you is that the chin tuck exercise may cause much more harm than good, whilst the chin tuck skill is an essential skill to recover your health. Welcome, I'm Olivier Girard, economist, posture therapist, and author of the Posture Manual. We'll start with a simple test, but careful, I don't want you to go too far into the test because this is going to be a test that actually hurts you, okay? So you take it easy, I just want you to feel what happens and why you shouldn't do it too much. We're going to slouch, yeah? so you, you, you sit on the chair and you slouch, and you're going to pull your chin back, and you see that it's causing massive pain in the neck once I've moved only a few millimeters. So why would be a life-saving exercise causing so much pain? Well, simply because the chin tuck exercise is not at all the same when you're here, when you're there, when you draw back your head in this direction, or when you draw back your head downwards. So you see, there are multiple variants to it, and most people won't teach you these variants. Most people will also ask you to do the exercise standing, whilst the standing posture is much more difficult than the sitting or the lying down posture. It's more unstable, you know. When you stand, you have only two points of contact with the ground, four when you sit, and, and a massive number when you lie down. So every risky exercise should be done in a safe posture, not in a hazardous posture. Reason number two why I don't like the chin tuck exercise is that it aims at strengthening the neck muscles, the neck muscles that resist forward head posture. But you know, posture rule number two that you can find either in my book or in the playlist, which is the must watch posture videos, states that your neck cannot harm you because it is too relaxed. The neck does not want to be contracted. It wants to be relaxed at all times. Therefore, resolving a problem by strengthening the neck is something which is, you know, very, very, very tricky. I've never needed in 15 years to strengthen somebody's neck. I've needed to strengthen the foundations of the neck, which is the mid-back. I've needed to relax the neck. I've needed to stretch the neck, but never to strengthen the neck. And what's actually behind all this is that people who want to treat your forward head posture with this single exercise forget that forward head posture is not an isolated phenomenon. Forward head posture is actually the result of a vicious cycle which I've described in detail in the video with the protocol on how to resolve forward head posture, CF the description. Just to cut a long story short, the vicious cycle it has three components. When your mid-back goes round, your shoulders go forward and your head go forward. And each one of these three will cause the two others. So what I'm saying here is that if you want to seriously attack forward head posture, you should not just do a single exercise which completely forgets about all the other causes of what you're trying to resolve. You should resolve the causes upwards, yes, yeah, starting with why you would slouch in your mid-back, e.g. because your pelvis is not well stabilized, strengthen the mid-back so that it doesn't go like this, stretch the chest so that your shoulders are not forward, and once you've done all that, you'll see what's left. And if your head is still forward, well, start by stretching the anterior neck muscles, which pull too hard on the neck instead of strengthening these ones which will just create you know like an arm wrestling thing like this one pulls strong so these ones will pull stronger well this is not going to go in the direction of a relaxed neck so all this to tell you why i don't like this exercise but the skill to draw back your chin is an essential skill i was just mentioning that we need to strengthen the mid back how to strengthen the mid-back? We do the prayer exercise, which goes like this. 
You see, I flatten my lower back, I draw my chin inwards, and I push the knee back forward, while style press my elbows on the inner thighs. And you see that this exercise is definitely not the same if I do it like this or if I do it like that. But I don't pull further than that. So you see, the skill is about keeping your head where it should be, not pushing it or pulling it to the other extreme. And this is why the skill, you need it all the time, whilst the exercise, you don't need it. Another example, I'm gonna do the plank exercise, which you all know so well. Well, look, if I do the plank exercise like this, I mess up my back. If I do it like this, then we can talk. Of course, I should also control the position of my pelvis, but when you do the plank exercise, you should very much use the skill, the chin drawback skill, for avoiding this, which so many people do. Just one additional thing to help you master the skill. Well, you see, when the crown is the highest point of your head, your neck is lengthened. If your forehead moves upwards, you close your neck and therefore you compress all the vessels which are in there. Okay? So actually, you should always make sure that the crown is the highest point of your head. So chin tuck goes like this, you know? When I train the prayer exercise, I always make sure that the crown is the highest point of my head, or rather than the highest, the point which is the most further away from the lower parts, and in particular the pelvis. So you see, don't believe in strength before other things. Strengthening will come from using your body well, and if you want to know how to use your body well, well, this channel is your best friend, and I'm happy to become your best friend by publishing the videos that will help you, as this one, which was a request from one of you guys.